Hey, I'm Jared Kirk of Effectatron, and today we're going to go over gobos really quickly. And so we'll talk about what a gobo is, how to create some real quick, and how to use them inside of Redshift. They're super easy and they can spice up your scene uh, quite a bit. And so it's a really nice little detail you can add into your scene. So let's get to it. Real quick, I just want to say be sure to check out DerekKirk.net for all of my content and check out our courses on CG Shortcuts and my courses on Skillshare. All of these are going to be updated with new content as well with the new big changes with Redshift, so be sure to stay tuned uh, and check those out. Okay, so firstly, what is a Gobo? Gobo is basically the best way to explain it is like... Uh, in stage lighting, they have the Fresnel spotlights and they would have these little plates that they would slide in in front of the, the lens called a cookie. And they put that plate in and they would have different shapes and stuff on it. They would cast a specific shadow on the stage, sort of fake like leaves or something dramatic or something like that. So basically, gobos are the same thing for redshift area lights. You're going to drop in a black and white texture image. Normally black and white doesn't have to be, but a image and it's going to cast that shadow or that image uh, onto your scene it's just to kind of add fake lighting like this. Like I don't have windows in this scene. This just looks like I have windows or vegetation outside the window and I don't. So let's take a look at this. So firstly, we have here just our basic standard scene. And here we have an area light just above a cube on a psych wall. And nothing is fancy is going on here, but all we need to do to add a gobo is if our area light is selected, you go down here to texture, and we could just drag in a gobo or hit that little folder and click and open a gobo. And a gobo can be anything from a range of big leaves, a couple leaves, some flowers, or just window bars, something like that. So we can add that in and you'll see nothing really happens. And that's because our spread is still all the way up to one. So if we take our spread all the way down to zero, that's going to tighten up our light. And now we see these lines from our grid. So the, basically the way that works is obviously if you have a cookie or a cutout in front of a light and that light is very much a diffused light, it's not gonna cast a hard shadow. So you're not gonna get the detail from your gobo. But you take that, take that spread all the way down, make it a sharp spotlight, and now you're gonna get that there for you. So the highest for the spread I would go probably is like 0 0.005, like very small. Uh, anything higher than that, like 0 0.01, you're gonna really start to lose those lines there. But you you can if you want, if that's more of the look you're going for, obviously. But zero is gonna be the sharpest, but 0 0.005 or 0 0.001 gives you a pretty good look as well. So you can soften that up a tiny bit if you want to. And so another tip I would do is when doing area lights and stuff like for windows or whatever uh, for your scene, I like to create a null and put it wherever I want the light to, to be centered on, especially when using gobos. And so then what I do is I right click my area light, go to animation tags, go down to target, grab that null, put that in the target. And so now when I leave here, I can just grab my area light and kind of move it around. And as I move it around, it's going to automatically just aim at that light here. So I'll pull this down a bit, make it more dramatic. Yeah. So there you go, just kind of an easy way to spice up your scene. Well, obviously we don't have a window or anything in here. It's not so bright, make it more moody. So this way we don't have, you know, a window modeled here or anything, but it looks like we're in a skylight or something like that, or an old warehouse window just like that. So you can use images, black and white images. You can create them in Photoshop. Uh, I'll give away the ones I've created for free. Um, they're fine. Uh, let's take a look at ones that I like. I do like this big leafy one in a window. I think that looks really cool. So pretty neat. And, you know, just adding some gobos on here really spice this up. If I come in here and I delete out these It doesn't quite look as cool of a scene. You know, it's kind of odd looking, but you throw in those gobos and it kind of looks like a nice like LA style house or something because you got palm trees. It just gives a little bit more of identity and perspective to your scene to be artsy about it. Moody. 
Yeah, so gobos, pretty cool. Uh, also with gobos, you can add animated gobos. So if you had something like if I had these leaves and I had them moving a little bit, all you need to do is go to the animation tag and you just need to make sure that that is a JPEG sequence or at least an image sequence of some type. It cannot be an MOV or anything like that, but as long as it's an image sequence, take all of those in their own folder, put all those images in their own folder, make sure they are labeled numerically in order, and then you'll choose the mode. You have simple, which is just gonna play it through once, loop, which will loop it from start to finish, and ping pong will play it forwards and then play it backwards and then play it forwards and then play it backwards. So once you have all those in there and your mode selected, you'll just say detect frames. And if you load in the first one here and when you hit detect frames and you have a image sequence, it will select all of those and find those. And then you can tell it your frame rate and you'll have an animated go both. So you can just have a nice scene with just some leaves and stuff moving outside the window or something like that if you want. Or you could create a sort of an underwater effect to look very easily. You know, these also work with environment lights and stuff. So they're kind of a really neat, neat tool. So real quick, how to create a gobo. Basically we say new, we're gonna say something square, a little high res, so like 4,000 by 4,000 should be fine. You can do whatever you want. But I find that squares are normally the best way to go. And then as far as these like, brushes and stuff, I just Googled leaf brush, free leaf brush. Uh, so I found some leaf brushes. Some of them are good, some of them aren't, aren't as good. Uh, I found, and then also I looked up like uh, free Photoshop plant brushes. So we just kind of have leaf brushes and fern brushes. And also you can just, you know, draw the window lines here. If you can, if you want to do blinds, you could do a bunch of rectangles and do blinds and stuff. But basically, you know, you just draw on there and do your thing. And then you save that out as a JPEG. So save as, we'll call this leafy branch. Say, okay. Leafy one there. There you go. I mentioned that these don't always have to be black and white. You could do like a stained glass uh, image if you wanted to. And you could, you know, bring in some fun stained glass look. It's kind of cool. And so you could blur that up a little bit more if you wanted to. This is kind of a neat, neat effect. So gobos. Fancy word for, for cookies. Go, go, gadget, gobos. Yeah, so there you go, area lights. So, yeah, hopefully that was helpful, pretty quick one. I have made a lot of tutorials in the last few weeks. You guys have been super supportive. So thank you so much to everybody who's watched, uh, all the new subscribers and stuff. Thank you all so much. Everybody that gave me, that paid for free materials. You guys are amazing. We really, really appreciate the support. Uh, I am probably not going to come out with a video tomorrow or Friday where I'm going to take my daughter and my wife. We're going to go up to the zoo and have some time off and a little family trip. And then I'll be back. But uh, I might, I might uh, try some other video content some, somewhat. I might try a little gaming content or something like that. So if that's you know, something you guys would be interested in, definitely let me know and be on the lookout for that. But um, yeah, why not? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.